So now that we've looked at how to arrange your photos and find different photos and look at them by different sorts, now I'm going to show you how to manage your photos. So a few things that we want to show you here are looking at each of the photos, you can do a few things. In this view, you can see when you hover over this individual photo, you can see a bit of information. First off, we know that two people have been tagged just by looking at this icon and it says the number two. Um, this photo is not in any albums right now. You can see that by the icon and the zero. And the photo also is not does not have any location tag to it. And that's not surprising because you can most likely tell that this is a scanned photo. And so that's not going to be information that comes in with the file naturally. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can actually click on this photo so that you can see here now this brings up a menu at the bottom and you can do several different things. You could download that photo, you could edit the tags, you could share that photo, you could print it or you can delete it. And I'm going to show you if we open up the edit tags tray, you can see now all the information that is added to your photo. So here we know that two people have already been added and tagged to this photo. Uh, we know what the date is. Uh, we have no location and we have actually added no albums and this photo has not come in with any albums. Um, we also know that when we look at the date here that October 22nd of 2019 is probably not the correct date. So we would be able to change the date for that photo. So you can do the really cool thing is that you can change information on just one photo or if you wanted you would be able to for the photos we had selected just two right now. Um, you'd be able to change information on all of those photos at the same time. Now for me, I know that those photos are not necessarily related that I just selected. So I'm not going to change them from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go and show you one other way to change information and then we'll actually change the information from there. So if I go into the same photo, I can see here that we have two people who are tagged to it. And as you can see, there are five people in this really fun family photo. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and we have that same icon that, and the same um, uh, label that says edit tags. And so for this photo, I'm going to go inside here and I can do a couple of different things. I can add a caption to this photo. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say Bader Kids because I know that this is the Bader side of my family. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some people to it. So I can see that my uncle Dick Bader is not tagged to that yet, so I'm going to tag him. I can also just look by the last name and see who all pops up. And for this one, I know that both Larry and if I look Bader again, and Jack were not tagged, I can find them and add them to the photo really quickly. I can also create new people from here. So if I had a photo where there was somebody that I had not previously added into my account, I can really easily go in and add information to add that person. I can also add a location and change the date. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a location. And the really great thing about this is that I can either look up a location that I already have, such as 1190 um, Jefferson, or I can actually create a new location. So if this is a location that I had never added into my account previously, I would be able to look for it a couple different ways. We're connected to Google Maps. And so you would be able to search and find either a specific street address, or you could even do something as simple as a city and a state or a, um, a country and a, um, and a state. And you can put whatever information that you actually know about your photos. So for here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pretend that this is uh, one, two, three, main. Street and well, we have lots of different op options. So you can see as you start typing in information, you're going to get suggestions made to you based off of Google Maps. So I'm going to go ahead and let's pretend that this is in Edison, New Jersey. And so 
One more thing I want to show you about adding a location in this view is that if you wanted to give this a nickname um, so that when you are searching for locations, like let's say it's just not an address that you use very often, um, but you know that you're going to remember that it's Aunt Susie's house or it's the place where you would do the Halloween parade, you can come up with a nickname for that location that lets you find it really easily and search for it later on. So I'm going to actually call this Grand house or Grandma Bader's house just because that will probably be a little more specific. Grandma Grandma Bader's house and get rid of that there. And so now the really great thing is that we'll be able to look for it by this name later on. But it is also connected to GPS coordinates so that if I clicked on this link, which I'll show you how to do in a minute, it will take me to a specific location on the map. Now I can also change the date here. I know that this is an approximate date for me because I'm not quite sure exactly when the year is. I don't know when the month is. I'm not sure really what the season is. And so I think that this photo is around 1943-ish. So I think it probably still is in that year. I don't think it's um, much further than that. So I'm going to just go ahead and say that it is 1943 and change that date. So I've now changed that date. If you have a specific date, you can certainly use that. But a lot of times we just don't know exactly when a date is from. And I'm going to add this to an album. Here I can search for albums that I already had. But if I wanted to create a brand new album, I can also do this. And I'm going to call this Bader Fun. So here we go. We've now created a brand new album. And if you had writing on the back of this photo, you would be able to use this function here and find the matching photo and connect the two. I have a separate demo video on that in our archive, so I'm not going to show you how to do that now, and it's a really easy function, but just know that you're able to do that. And then if you would like to add some keywords to your photos, sometimes people, aside from all the information that we already have added to this photo, because that automatically becomes keywords for you. Sometimes people like just to have additional keywords. So maybe this one is, oh, it could be, let's say, um, brick houses, if that's important to you. Um, perhaps, or perhaps there's another keyword you'd like to add. Maybe it is, um, oh goodness, um, bear trees. Maybe that's important to you for being able to find photos with, you know, no leaves on them, um, on the trees. So we're able to add keywords and all of that is searchable and all this information that we're looking at here is going to be clickable inside memory web. It lets you, it's, it's searchable, it lets you find, th find things. Um, but the, also the really great thing is that when you take this photo out or any of your photos out, we also take all of this information and we stuff it inside your electronic file so it works, it's like the back of the photo information, but in the electronic version of it, so that any place that reads um, metadata is able to use that information. So if you took this photo out, a great example, and I'm going to save the tags just to show you this here, how it looks now, any place that uses GPS coordinates, because we've added this location of Grandma Bader's house, would now be able to actually use the GPS coordinates and show that this photo is at the address, I think it was 123 Main Street in Edison, New Jersey, um, that it's actually taken at that location. And so that really just helps make sure your information stays with your files. But I did promise you I was going to show you an example of how you can click on um, these different links and see that. So let's go ahead and use that location link and I'm going to click on Grandma Bader's house and now you can see it shows you here that it's plotted on the map. And any photo that has been taken at that location would show up here as well.